All right guys, what is up and welcome back to the channel. We have a broken hand today. See if I can still catch some fish with this thing. Broke it last weekend and uh, I usually reel with my left hand and hold my spinning rod in my right hand. Had to switch that over so that way I don't have to hold it with this hand. I can just go like this and kind of reel. I'm gonna kind of play the fish easy, not reeling real crazy or hard. Uh, but what I got on is a nose hooked little fluke here. It's gonna work like a kind of like a soft swim bait. And then uh, a big gill glide and Chad Fleer from uh, Council Bluff Cranks, Council Bluff Crankbaits, he uh, painted that up for me, had it for a while. Uh, Thrown it once or twice, it was kind of heavy, I didn't want to really burn it too fast uh, out here in the creeks fishing it. But we're gonna, I want to catch a fish on that lure. Uh, caught a few smallmouth, pretty big smallmouth that spit up bluegill that were all half digested and stuff. So. Obviously they eat bluegill, I already know that, but I really want to catch a fish on that. I've caught a lot of fish on some crazy baits you guys have seen, but like a gill glide or something like that, I have not caught a smallmouth on. So that is the goal today. Should get a ton of bites on that uh, nose hook fluke here. But that's the plan. Uh, I'm gonna see if we can, oh yeah, there's a lot of rain in the area too. So we're gonna be getting rained on. Hopefully there's no lightning. Looked at it, it's kind of, kind of breaking up. Uh, could not get any rain. But definitely looks like we're going to get some rain here pretty quick and then hopefully it clears out and it's been constantly breaking up as it's coming to us. So shouldn't be too bad, but I'm going to test out the old hand, make sure she can still catch some fish and stick around and see what we can get into. All right, guys, actually putting on a little different color fluke. Got a pack of these in my pocket. There's kind of like the clear sparkly looking color. Forget the name of them. We're just going to nose hook it just like that. Actually got some thunder in the area. I feel like a kid fishing. Trying to reel with this hand. It doesn't hurt reeling it, but it's definitely hard to fish. Never cast a spinning reel left handed. Definitely gonna be interesting. <laughs> Barely even cast. I'll figure it out here. Oh, I had one. Had a nice one on. So if I'm trying to land a big one, I can't grab it with this hand, obviously. I have to get it in, tuck it under my, tuck my rod under my arm, I guess, and then grab them. Or just kind of bank flip them a little bit. Just kind of thinking about how I was going to do that. Bunch of them attacking it too. <laughs> easy, easy, easy. Definitely need both hands to fish. Realize that. And there's another one on the flute, guys. Try to get going quick here. See if I keep catching them that size, I'm gonna end up hurting my hand if I end up catching a ton of fish. I need to not catch a ton of them. Which usually is not what you say. <laughs> There's a big fish.
There we go, guys. That's probably a 17 or so. Heck yeah, I watched him just freaking choke it. Here we go on the fluke. It's working good. The fluke is working good. Just like I knew it would. Actually need a new one. When you nose hook them like this, they kind of crap out on you pretty quick. They get all wallowed out. And then you can actually bite the head off. And keep doing that for a little while until it gets too short. And then you gotta get a new one. But heck yeah, guys. Broken hand out here just doinking them. Camera angles and stuff probably aren't gonna be the best because I'm kind of fishing all lopsided it feels like, but I'll try my best. Oh, no, that was a giant. Took my lure too. Took my fluke. We're gonna get out the big swim bait, throw the big swim bait around. Try not to catch too many small fish, but that was not a small one. I watched them boil on it. That was bigger than the last one. Now this one, I'm probably gonna have to cast with my right hand a little bit. Yeah, how loud and noisy this thing is. Right here in front of me. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Are you joking me? <laughs> Big fish, man. This is my keep hitting my hand on my reel. I just had a really big fish follow this thing in. Like I said, Chad Fleer and Council Bluff Cranks painted this up. I'll leave a link down below for you guys. And I'll show you the bait again and kind of talk about it at the end of the trip. Big largemouth literally right here. There's a big one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Got to use my hand a little on this one. Look at that. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Oh. 
almost 20 guys oh no he's just touching 20 I mean right at it his nose is right at it his tail is just right there I mean oh it's easy easy no not my hand right at it 20 inch smallie shout out to Chad Fleer for this one oh man broken hand I'm getting it all wet and nasty but I got a brand new cast at home I'm putting on hopefully I don't do any damage to it today 20 inch or just freaking inhaled it gave him a couple twitches boom baby let's go oh this bait right here y'all Chad Fleer coming in clutch with the paint job unreal I'm using my hand a little more than I planned but it's not hurting at all I'm reeling this like real dainty like <laughs> uh. That fish was following it. I paused it a couple times, gave him some twitches. And he, he could not resist it. Another 20 incher, guys. That's number seven on the year. That one is strictly because of Chad Fleer right there. I don't know if that fish would have hit a fluke or not, but it freaking engulfed this thing. Oh my God, oh, I hit my hand, hold up. Dang it, I hit my finger on the reel. That was another big fish. I remember to keep my freaking hand out of the way. I just need to set it with my hand off of it and then reel it in. I actually hit this finger with it. Uh, holding it so weird. Man, that was another good one. There's one. Oh, he come off. There's another one right here though. Oh, he almost bit it. The other one bit it and pulled him off. I hate when that happens. You get two fish on there, they pull each other off. I had this bait for a long time and I've just Ain't really throwing it. I don't know why. I think I found the mag draft and got so caught up with that. Another good fish though. We ain't gonna go as far as I normally would, but I'm gonna try to make it up a good little ways. Look at this big freaking turtle. Holy cow, he's ready to take a toe off. I didn't even see him. That's not a little one. He's not hooked good though. Oh, there he goes. 19 inch or probably 18 19 guarantee it it just wasn't hooked good we gotta make our way back down i thought i was gonna have another chance at a big one with that swim bait but i did not lost that big one right there at my feet kind of just let him i almost just let him come off i got a better hand i could have landed him but a solid 19 inch fish probably
pretty good one on the fluke. Not too bad for the old fluke there. There we go, guys. Another one on the fluke. Nice. He's gone. All the storms that were supposed to hit it turned out being a nice day. Didn't even rain one drop on me. The radar literally showed storms like hitting us. And it never did. So I can't always go off the, off the weather unless it's like all right, it's 100 percent supposed to storm today. But even then, lately, man, they've been way off. Pulled it right out of his mouth. Pulled it right out with this little hook. I went a little too hard on that one. I'm getting my fishing abilities dialed in here and went a little crazy on that one. Little bitty guy. Little bitty guy. We're after one's a little bigger than that. A little one eat it, eat it on top water. A large mouth ate it on top water. A little largey. That's pretty awesome. The storms all blew in on me. Ended up never raining on me though, but it cooled it way down. There's one. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Going for my legs. Come here. Come here, little guy. There we go, another little snake. I was gonna show you guys a little better view of it, but he was ready to go. All right, another one falls to the fluke. All right guys, that is gonna do it for today. I'm down here on the creek bank, getting a few things together here before I get up out of here. Uh, got a little bit of fish left and I catch a big one. I'll definitely show you guys this bait right here. Little Gill Glide by Chad Fleer. 
money. Money, money, money. Every big fish I seen bit it or they went for it and tried to bite it. I bite it. They just ran out of time. But uh, yeah, what a good day, man. That little fluke definitely got it done too. That was fun to throw around in here. Uh, once I need this, need the creeks to all flood and uh, really get some water in them. Creeks are pretty low. I probably won't wade too much till it rains. They're just freaking low, low, low. They'll probably stick to rivers and stuff like that until we get a lot of rain. Hopefully next week. It's calling for a lot of rain. Hopefully we actually get it this time. But yeah, another 20 inches in the another 20 inch fish in the books, guys. That's number seven on the year. So definitely been a good year. I've been throwing a lot of big baits. That's why I'm catching these big fish, guys. I definitely catch less fish when I throw these big baits, but they are quality. So uh, another creek wading trip. Oh, horse flies on the water. It's gonna get eaten by a fish. Uh, yeah, you guys enjoyed this video. Fishing with my broken hand, landing some big fish. Caught some other big fish. I would have landed if I did if I wasn't wrapped up like this. But I wasn't too too keen on landing them. I feel like I did enough work on my hand today. Got a little workout in. Feels pretty stiff, but I think it's just because I ain't used it in a week. So. I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here, guys. You, if you like this content down below, hit that subscribe button for me, man, and uh, help me out. Help me grow this channel. But I'm going to go ahead and get up out of here. Thank you guys for watching.